I'm often asked what made me interested in David Livingstone. I like to think that the story found me. My journey with this great explorer began on Mount Kilimanjaro in Africa. I was, went there to climb the mountain after doing some humanitarian justice work uh, in Uganda and Rwanda. And as I was climbing this mountain, you, you look up and you see this train of hundreds and hundreds of porters and they're carrying your equipment and the equipment of all the, all the climbers heading up that mountain. And you look behind you and you see hundreds and hundreds of porters coming up, um, bringing uh, tents and food and sleeping bags. And I remember thinking to myself, this is, must be like what it was like when they originally explored Africa. And these long trains of porters going deep into the jungle and into the heart of that continent. And so I wanted to find a book about the original explorations of Africa. And the name that came to mind that I, I just remembered from, from history was uh, Stanley and Livingstone. And so I went out to find this book on Dr. David Livingstone. What I kept reading was this nugget of how this man was interested in ending the slave trade, that he would write things about uh, how, how what a great injustice slavery was and how his Christian faith was important. And I wanted to know more about this. I wanted to find out more about the nexus of his faith and the end of slavery. And it seemed that there was uh, this relationship between what he did and the end of that slave trade in East Africa. Well, I wasn't looking for that book. I just wanted to read it. And I, I read biographies and I read all sorts of, of histories on him and, and African and I couldn't find that story. So I set out to write it. And uh, what makes The Daring Hunter David Livingstone so unique, I think, is that there was this story of, of what was happening for him, his life in Africa as he was on the edge of death, uh, trying to find the source of the Nile, trying to find out more about the slave trade, and then what was happening in Britain and the rest of the world as his letters would get out as the David Livingstone myth became something larger than life. I came to find David Livingston as somebody I really admired and somebody who had a lot of failings and uh, made a lot of mistakes but gave his life to something that was so important and something that was beyond him and he he gave it all for justice and for the kingdom and uh, it's a great man and a great story and I encourage you to read the book.